The type of production system to establish in a poultry farm majorly depends on the capital you have and the labor needed in the system. In this video, I'm going to answer all your questions and clear all your doubts on which system to use between the battery cage system versus the deep litter system. I am going to tell you which system requires more capital to start and which one requires less labor. Also, I'm going to tell you which of the two systems have high cost of maintenance. And finally, I'm going to give you the differences, the advantages and disadvantages of each of the two systems. In this video, I'm going to compare and discuss these two types of systems based on number one, the, uh, the amount of startup capital that is needed to start each of these uh, two systems. Also, I'm going to discuss the labor needed in each of these uh, systems. Also, the hygiene levels of the two systems, the disease control measures in each of these systems, and also I'm going to discuss the space needed for these systems and finally I'm going to discuss which system between the battery cage and the uh, deep litter system caters for the animal welfare. If you are new to the channel, welcome to this awesome organic farming channel. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also YouTube likes it when you hit the like button i also like it when you hit the like button so guys hit the like button you can also leave a question or any suggestion in the sec in the comment section below into the first topic that is the startup capital uh, the battery cage system requires way more cash to start because the cages are very expensive. For example, a cage system for 300 birds here in Kenya can go up to $900. This does not include the cost for setting up uh, the automatic drinkers and feeders. This and other factors makes the battery cage system very expensive to start. For the deep litter system, the cost is a uh, way low because you can make your own feeders and drinkers also the deep litter system does not require a lot of infrastructure therefore uh, making it way less costly to start compared to the battery cage system let's get into the second topic and that is the labor needed in each system the labor in the deep litter system is quite more than in the battery cage system this is because uh, for example the egg collection in the battery cage system is easy uh, also there is no need to give the water and feeds manually because most of the battery cage systems are automated but in the deep litter system you must fill the feeders and the drinkers but you'll find that some farmers are able to automate uh, to automate the drinkers therefore uh, reducing quite some labor in the deep litter system also in the deep litter system you must clean the feeders and the drinkers in addition in deep litter system monitoring the chicken is also quite some work into our third topic uh, that is a uh, hygiene uh, the deep litter system is quite low in hygiene because chickens stay on their poop uh, but for the battery cage system the poop collects underneath the cages making them more clean Eggs will also be clean in the battery cage system than in the deep litter system. It's also easier to clean manure uh, in the battery cage system because you just sweep beneath the cages. But for the deep litter system, it, it becomes quite hectic. Uh, however, on the other hand, the manure from the deep litter system is of more quality compared to that of the battery cage system. This is because the mixture uh, of the manure in the deep, deep litter system with the litter uh, makes it to be dry and readily usable in the farm compared to the wet manure in the battery cage system. The next topic is about the disease control. Here is where the battery cage system beats the deep litter system 10 nil. Uh, this is because in the deep litter system, chickens defecate uh, and the poop mixes with the spilled water. Therefore, the chickens are in a high risk of contracting infections like coccidiosis and the chronic respiratory diseases, which is a disease that is caused by high amounts of ammonia concentration. Also, due to increased movement in the deep litter system, there is a high risk of disease transmission. A transmission rate is a lower in the battery cage system because chickens are enclosed in cages. 
also under disease control, it is easier to identify sick birds in the deep litter system. This is because uh, when you get into the chicken coop, all the birds will tend to move. Therefore, you will identify the depressed, lonely bird that is not uh, moving together with the other chickens. Uh, to control diseases effectively, make sure that the chicken coop in the deep litter system has the recommended number of birds and this applies also to the bird wreckage system whereby you should ensure that the recommended number of birds in every cage. Another thing you need to know is that in the bird wreckage system you will encounter a lot of cases of paralysis. Uh, this is because the birds are only being fed but they do not have enough space uh, for movement. Paralysis that is very rare uh, in the deep litter system because the birds can be able to fly all over their place. Therefore, uh, this movement helps to prevent paralysis. Now let's look about production. Uh, which of these two systems is better when it comes to production? Uh, it's easy uh, to identify the layers that are not raining in the battery cage system. This is because the birds are classified into cages. But for the deep litter system, it's impossible because the laying nests are shared by all the uh, all the birds uh, also under production the broilers do well in the deep litter system because the ground gives them a nice place to rest unlike in the con in the condensed wire gazed cages where the broilers can get bruised therefore uh, this increases stress which can decrease uh, the growth performance. Also, in the battery cage system, it's easier to keep records compared to the deep litter system. Uh, this is because the battery cage system is divided into units uh, containing specific number of bird uh, per cage. Another thing you need to know is that layers in the deep litter system tend to become uh, broody compared uh, to battery cage system. Uh, therefore, there can be a, a decrease in the egg production more in the deep litter system as compared to the battery cage system. The major disadvantage of the battery cage system when it comes to production is when the water nipples get an airlock and the water doesn't come out. Uh, this makes the birds dusty, uh, therefore decreasing production. Uh, you have to keep checking the nipple for the airlock frequently to prevent this problem which can bring a decrease in egg production or even growth rate in the broilers. And the next topic is about the stocking density. Uh, the stocking density is the number of birds per unit area. If you do not have a big size of land, uh, for example in the urban areas, uh, then of course you are going to go uh, for the battery cage system. But if you are in the urban areas where you have plenty of land, you can go for the deep litter system. Stocking density is a very influential a factor that can determine whether you are going to get profits or losses. So you must be able to know the correct number of birds that you are going to keep in your chicken coop if it is for the deep litter system or the number you are going the number of chickens you are going to keep in each and every cage and uh, in the battery cage system. Uh, for the deep litter system to get the number of birds you should keep per unit area you should take uh, the length of the chicken coop in feet then multiply by the width of uh, that chicken coop then you divide by two uh, by doing that you are going to get the number of birds you should keep in that chicken coop the final and one of the most important topic is about the animal welfare. Animal welfare organization in various countries have banned the rearing of chicken in the battery cage system because it undermines the welfare of the birds. Uh, many people uh, argue that chicken reared in the battery cage system are very stressed and crowded uh, in the cages, therefore literally treating them uh, like prisoners. In some countries, meat and eggs from chicken reared in battery cage system is sold at lower prices uh, as compared to products from chicken that are reared in the deep litter system. Therefore, the deep litter system gives the, bird, the birds a more natural setup compared to the battery cage system. However, if you have an, an 
entrepreneurial men mindset uh, then you are most probable uh, probably going to install a battery cage system but if you really care about the welfare of your chicken then you'll definitely go for the depleter system the choice is yours to make i hope the video have helped you to make your to make up your mind on which system you will adopt uh, if that is so make sure that you hit the like button and watch the video on your screen right now uh, to know how the grape juice can boost the growth of your chickens